digital age has made it possible for anyone to be a photographer. Your point-and-shoot camera, your smartphone, even digital SLR cameras like this make it possible to capture any moment, anywhere, anytime. Sounds good, right? There's, there's a real advantage to the digital age in the transmission, immediate, the immediacy, to say, I Wi-Fi this, I just got it, and the gratification, that instant gratification. But there, there's no permanence. The art form of photography, as Jim Kuby, president of Kurt's Camera Corral, would say, has gone from the dark room to the light room, Adobe light room to be specific. After the film was shot, you would then take the, uh, the film, then in the dark room, you'd take the film out of the canister, put it onto the reel, and then into, into a tank. Then uh, you'd use a uh, developer, film developer, then uh, put uh, it a fixer and then wash thoroughly. The painstaking tasks once done with chemicals, enlarging equipment, and developing tricks can now be done with just a few clicks of the mouse. But is that necessarily a good thing? For, for any of us who, who have printed uh, black and white, that first, that, that first print, everybody remembers it. It's magic. Yeah. You've got a white piece of paper and you put it in this liquid and all of a sudden an image comes out. Wow. That you created. That you created and it's, and it's absolute magic that it comes up and that just sticks with people. They'll never forget that first time that they saw that. Yeah. And I don't know, I don't know that there are too many magic moments in digital. In addition to the loss of those magical moments, there's the potential loss of the image entirely. As we all know, hard drives, SD cards, and data storage can fail. Remember floppy disks? All those SD cards could become obsolete sooner than you might think. I don't know how, how many images you can keep on a cell phone, or uh, uh, how many uh, are going to be recorded onto some kind of semi-archival medium like a, a, a CD or a DVD. And then even that, we don't know the longevity of a DVD. Uh, or a CD. We know the longevity of, of a, certainly of a black and white photograph that was processed correctly. Matthew Brady's images are still around. And that's Civil War stuff. Do you think uh, moving forward in the 21st century, because obviously digital here to stay, do you think there will be a point that this will be completely obsolete? I think it's going to be rare. You know, obsolete. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. It depends on what what uh, what people value. If the value system continues as it's going, where the, where nothing has value, uh, then yeah, this is uh, this is obsolete. And for a lot of people, it's already obsolete because it has no uh, you know. So so what? There's that. Uh, I've got this great. I've got this photograph to show you. So, eh, so what? And so if, if that attitude continues and relevancy of, uh, of, of again, the books, the printed, the printed page, books, photographs, uh, if, they, if they have no value anymore, then, uh, yeah, then it's on its way. Jim and the staff of Kurt's Camera Corral have endured technological changes for the 65 years they've been in business. In addition to a photographer's go-to shop for gear, they function somewhat as a museum, preserving the hard copy heritage that embodies the art of photography in its basest form. An image, the difference between an image and a picture or a photograph is, in effect, hard copy. And uh, uh, I think that photography's biggest asset, if not its only long-term asset, is as a documentary medium. If you don't have a document, is uh, you know, it, it, is it really a, is it worth taking the picture? It's like the old philosophical uh, conundrum of a tree falls in the woods, nobody's there to hear it, doesn't make a sound. Right? While a subculture of hard copy photo developing is on the rise, it may not be enough to sustain the art forever. Only time will tell what will happen to the once beloved darkroom. For more information on the iconic Kurtz Camera Corral, head over to casa.com.